Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Kelly, if you're new. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to achieve these brows right here. You guys are always sending me questions, asking me on Instagram, how do I do my brows? What do I use? And I always tell you guys what I use, but I never show you how I use them. So I was doing my makeup today, I was like, why not just put the girls on, okay? Why not just do a brow tutorial? And that is what I did, and you are getting that right now, okay? Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> okay guys, so right now I am brushing up my hairs. I'm doing it in the desired shape that I want my hairs to go. Um, and I continue doing this until I'm happy. Next, I use my Precisely Brow Pencil from Benefits. I love it so much. And right now I'm just outlining the shape of my brow, um, pretty much like you're tracing. I'm gonna then go up to the top and do the same thing. And I'm now I'm doing small hair-like strokes in the front of my brows um, to create, you know, like as if there's hair there. <laughs> right now I'm blending it all in so it looks seamless. Now I'm using my Anastasia Bra Pomade. And what I'm gonna do with that one is I'm just going to fill in my brows with this angled brush. Um, it's my favorite. Um, you guys can use any angled brush though. And right now I'm just filling in my brows. So pretty much like you're coloring in between the lines. So pretty simple, really. Now I'm just going in with that same brow pencil and I'm brushing all my hairs in to make it nice and seamless. And I love this pencil because you can have the pencil on one end and the brush on the other. Now I'm going in with my concealer. I love this concealer. Um, the color is Fawn and I'm just gonna use this to outline the shape of my brows. Um, this is a little trick that I learned a few years ago and I've been doing it ever since. And you guys will see what I mean in the end. I'm going in with a darker shade. Um, on top of my brows just because I hate that like cast sometimes that happens when you wear your makeup Usually if you use a darker shade it will blend nicely when you put your foundation on versus using the same shade I use below Right now I'm going in with my concealer brush and I'm just cleaning up the top and Perfecting the shape and I'm gonna keep doing that a couple times until I love the shape and I have the perfect arch I'm now gonna go in on the bottom and I love the little trick that I did with the concealer before because now all I need to do is just use the brush. I don't have to apply more concealer underneath my brows to get the shape. I continue to go in just to make sure that that arch and line is perfect, okay? Okay, so I'm going back in with the pencil and I'm blending, blend, blend, blend. That is the key to a flawless brow. You don't want any harsh lines. Moving on to the next brow, and I'm not gonna really show you guys this because I'm literally doing the exact same thing I did on the other brow. See how many times I'm blending you guys? <laughs> now I'm going in with my sponge and I'm just, well, my beauty blender, and I'm just making sure the concealer is pressed into my face before I apply my foundation. Okay, so my makeup is all done. Um, the last thing I like to do before I head out though is use a brow gel. I have two that I love. This one is from e.l.f. 
Um, it's called Claire Brow and Lash Mascara. I will link it below for you guys. And this one is by Benefits and it's a 24 hour brow setter. And I just like to go ahead and let me show you guys what I do and just make sure that they stay in place all day and night okay sometimes I use two of them and sometimes I just use one so today I'm just gonna use one which is my benefits and these hairs aren't going nowhere okay okay there we go and I like to kind of fluff out the front somewhat so it's perfect but not really perfect if you get what I'm saying but that is it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one okay bye